A very good morning to everyone. Uh, this is Satish Kumar, Application Engineer EGS. So in today's presentation, we are going to see how effectively you can able to make your technical documentation and marketing contents in few minutes. So in this presentation agenda is uh, what are all the common industry trends is going on in the market and uh, what is the common industry challenges facing by the agricultural industry, especially while creating the technical documentation and marketing content and how SOLDOC solutions is uh, really helpful to overcome those challenges and what are the benefits you can able to get by implementing this system inside your organization and here I am also having one of our customer case study so how they benefit using uh, this process so the industry trend actually uh, the normal uh, traditional process of your company to create the technical documentation is once if they done the concept they'll develop the product and uh, they'll create a prototype they'll do the prototype and once after it is finalized they'll start preparing the documentation so it is a sequential process so while if you're going in the sequential process it take much time to um, create your technical documentation at the end of the product right so instead of making it uh, sequentially you can able to do all those tasks parallelly so this is what the trend is going on all the industries because instead of making it uh, sequentially if you create it parallelly you can able to do all those kind of things during your design stage so you can start parallelly your marketing activity during the design stage so without having the prototype you can have all the documentation in your handy and you can use it for your uh, presentation purpose or to wonder or to get any uh, order from your other uh, customers or vendors right so the normal common industry challenges inside the industry is they over project budgets because uh, if they allocate some budget uh, they'll do all these kind of things parallelly it takes much amount of time in the indirect cost is uh, spending for creating these kind of technical documentation and marketing content is high inside the organization and also once if you uh, missed your project timelines uh, this is due to some design changes if any design changes occurs once if the project is finalized right so if any changes occurs you have the source in between the associativity between design and the marketing content then only you can able to update it automatically or else you need to spend your time to do all those kind of changes right and also one more thing uh, there are a lot of free work and uh, uh, manual iterations needed to create some interactive technical documentation because it needs to understand the other side persons right so you are giving the technical documentation for maybe uh, making assembly instruction service manuals or uh, to understand your product about uh, various uh, sub assemblies in the shop flow people to assemble so there are a lot of free works uh, occurs while if it is not having the proper technical documentation and also obviously it uh, stops your time to market in uh, fastest way so the lot of reworks will make uh, your products lagging in your design stage or you are making your technical documentation stage obviously the cost is also very high uh, due to these lagging areas in the documentation process so how solidworks uh, will be really helpful for you to overcome all those challenges is you can able to create your uh, technical documentations like raster images and vector line art using uh, this composer tool so it will be very easy and interactive and intuitive to use uh, even a non-technical CAD user can also able to use this software to create the technical documentations and also uh, you can able to create your product documentation like tech writers and illustrators so as like I said you can uh, it is easy to use so the any users can able to learn this software within a uh, few days and start working on your own projects so in the display you can able to see here these kind of technical documentations you can able to prepare using this composer so it will be uh, used in the wide variety of applications like making assembly instructions user manuals field service manuals training materials marketing materials web based catalog so if you are having uh, if you want to update uh, your website using some interactive technical documentation and marketing content you can well create using this composer and upload it into your uh, web page because it is capable of exporting the file into html pdf word and a lot of different file formats for easy to easy and interactive to collaborate with others right 
so this is what the interactive technical communications uh, we can able to create using solidworks composer uh, for example animations and interactive content for to collaborate our uh, entire uh, machines or entire products with our uh, suppliers and also you can able to create some operational procedures so if you want to provide any um, technical uh, documentations like uh, how to disassemble how to assemble your entire uh, machines you can also able to create your operational procedures so if you want to uh, give some interactive contents like bill of material with all your exploded views you can able to done it so if you need to uh, publish all these kind of things into any html or word document or any pdf document you can able to create some interactive images from here easily you can uh, publish in into uh, all the different file formats whatever you want all right so here actually i'm having uh, some of the examples i'll uh, show you those examples so in the display you can able to see here uh, one of the assembly boom uh, from the resume so in these actually uh, you can able to create like this interactive animation so how to disassemble uh, the specific sub assembly so what is the working functionality of this sub assembly so like this if you are having any your uh, agricultural entire machinery you can also able to create some interactive contents for your entire uh, machinery so that will makes your technical documentation process even more productive so and also i'm having one of uh, the entire uh, resume machine so you can also able to create some um, interactive contents like uh, the working procedures and also uh, to highlight some point of uh, operational functionality inside your entire uh, machines you can also able to do all those kind of things inside uh, this area right so in the display you can able to see so for example i need to find uh, some set of replacement parts means you can able to highlight the replacement part uh, what you are going to uh, replace so it will cross highlight you if you are dragging your mouse point inside the viewport it will highlight you which sub assembly you are going to make and also one more thing for example i am going to do a maintenance so how i want to provide the maintenance for this machine so and also if i need to um, find out the controls of these entire resume so that also i can able to highlight it here so like this uh, you can able to create your technical documentation process even more faster and easy and interactive to find out so for example i am having one of uh, other future so called operational future so how this will operate so what is the placement of boom either it is a uh, bottom or top or side or how the stabilizer needs to be uh, placed while it is working and what are all the various movements of the steering so like this if you are having any kind of machinery you can able to show your entire functionality of the machinery using this interactive technical communication area so once if you done this you can able to publish uh, this resource into your uh, various file formats as like i said so in the display you can able to see here uh, this is actually the uh, user interface of solidworks composer so if you want to make any uh, animation like those so for in the display you can able to see here for example i need to uh, highlight the bolt and uh, remove the bolt means here actually i'm having some interactive animation library wizard so i don't want to create uh, all those kind of uh, things so, so i'm having some of the standard animation library so if i want to remove the bolt obviously i'll lose it and uh, um, transform it into the one side right so it will automatically do those animation sequence from this animation library so in the display you can able to see here i can able to find out uh, how these bolts needs to be removed so these kind of uh, interactive animations you can able to create in the display you can able to see uh, there are a lot of va variations also there are a lot of different iterations also you can able to create to make some interactive technical communication so obviously once if you done the technical documentation and the other side we need to concentrate on the marketing content right so this uh, is actually a really uh, 
interactive uh, marketing content preparation software and uh, SolidWorks visualize so this will be really helpful to make your design in a truly photographic environment and also once if you uh, make your prototype before making the prototype uh, it is par either parallel to your design you can able to create uh, the marketing content uh, instead of spending a lot of time after making the prototype and also you can uh, present your first impression to your customers without making the prototype once if you done the design do the marketing content publish it so instead of spending your lot of money on uh, taking a realistic photography by using some photographers you can use the software to create all those kind of instant uh, real time images so in the display you can able to see here these are all some of the images that is done by using uh, SOLIDWORKS for modeling and render using SOLIDWORKS visualize by applying the real time appearances backgrounds and also where you need to highlight your uh, product where you need to blur your product so you can able to create some emotional camera effects and create uh, your uh, interactive textures filters inside these uh, visualize So it also contains uh, some free cloud library so that contains a lot of different appearances so you can also able to customize all those appearances as like uh, what you require so obviously by doing all these kind of things you can able to shorter your time to market and improve your operational efficiency even more faster and also the quality of technical documentation is also being enhanced in a very shorter time and you can make your uh, design uh, decisions like uh, the technical documentation process in the earlier stage of your product process and also obviously you can uh, reduce your cost and number of physical prototypes because once if before making the prototype you can create all those kind of technical documentations right you can uh, parallelly create your marketing content during the design stage uh, so without affecting uh, the other departments and also without affecting any other resources you can able to do it in a separate manner so this is one of our case study uh, who's using a SOLIDWORKS composer so the challenge is to making their technology tools to sell uh, benefits of their Caesar machine to the customers and also uh, instead of orally uh, speak about our machine with the customer uh, they need uh, some interactive content to show with the customers to get the order right so once after implementing the composer actually they are uh, uh, creating a lot of animations within just two days of their entire machines and they won around uh, 7 lakh euro contract using this resource so their tagline is without 3d via composer and these animation it would have been very hard for us to win this uh, 7 lakh euro contract so you can able to uh, know how effectively this will be utilized to bid the order and also to get your uh, technical documentations even more faster so i think we are in the end of the presentation so if you have any doubts or if you need any clarification you can feel free to contact us through uh, the address you can able to uh, see in the display so you can also able to find our uh, upcoming webinars uh, by getting into the website uh, www.agisindia.com So you can write us email if you have any clarifications at uh, mark mktg marketing at egis.co.in. So feel free to contact us if you have any clarifications and uh, thanks for uh, watching this webinar. Thank you.